Have you ever been excited to run your Node.js project only to be met with an error message that stops you in your tracks? It's frustrating, right? If you've encountered the Mocha is not recognized as an internal or external command error, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together. I totally understand how annoying it is when you're ready to test your code and instead you get a roadblock. You're not alone in this. Many developers face this issue when setting up their testing environment. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. A user recently reported that when they try to run their tests using Nodemon and Mocha, they receive an error stating that Mocha is not recognized. This can be quite confusing, especially if everything seems set up correctly. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So, what could be causing this error? It often happens when the command line cannot find the Mocha executable. This could be due to Mocha not being installed globally, or it might not be in your system's path. Don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. And stick around, I have a quick tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. To resolve the issue with Nodemon not recognizing Mocha, the user should first ensure that Mocha is installed globally on their system. This can be done by running a specific command in the terminal. Next, the user should verify that Mocha has been installed correctly. This can be done by checking the version of Mocha in the terminal. If Mocha is installed correctly, the user should modify the test script in the package JSON file. Instead of using single quotes, they should use double quotes for the command. Finally, the user can run the test command again to see if the issue is resolved. This will allow Nodemon to execute Mocha without any errors. Fun fact, the name Mocha comes from a type of coffee. So just like a good cup of coffee, you want your tests to brew perfectly without any bitterness. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from a user suggests that if you're using Windows, you should avoid using single quotes in your command. Instead of using single quotes around Mocha, simply write the command without them. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution suggests checking your node NV variable if you're using Windows and Git Bash. It may default to production, which prevents NPM from installing dev dependencies like Mocha. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests modifying your package.json. They recommend changing the test script to run Mocha directly on your test files using the pattern tot hot test JS. Additionally, they propose creating a watch script that utilizes Nodeman to run the test command. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. One user faced a similar issue and found a workaround. They initially set their test script to run Mocha with Nodemon, but encountered errors. After several attempts, they changed the script name from Test Watch to Test New, which resolved the issue. They suggest keeping unique test script names across projects to avoid conflicts. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative solution from another user suggests installing Mocha globally to resolve the issue. They recommend using the command npm install mocha-g. This worked for them after they faced the same problem, provided all project dependencies are in place. Here's the quick tip I promised. Always check your global installations and path settings when you encounter command not found errors. This can save you a lot of time and frustration. And there you have it. You should now be able to run your tests without any issues. Remember, keeping your environment set up correctly is key. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more troubleshooting tips and don't miss our next video where we dive deeper into Node.js testing.